Hello. Hello, friends. You might say there's something different about me. Do we like the frames that I've always had but in black? Do we like them? Yes or no? These are like the blue light reflective frames. They're just a uh, different prescription and like I said, the blue light. So do you like them? I just ordered two nude pairs of glasses online just about 20 minutes ago um, from Clearly because I got a new prescription and I need new day-to-day -day glasses and new sunglasses. So these are going to be like my editing, video, TV screen glasses, and then I've got a different pair that's actually a different frame. I'll show you them later when I get them. That's all I'm going to say. I look like a completely different person when my hair is straight. Like, completely different person. Anyways, welcome back. Um, other than the glasses, my, yes, my hair is straight. I tend to straighten my hair when I don't feel like washing it, so that's a problem. <laughs> so welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I just want to give you kind of like an update on, um, well, maybe not necessarily an update, but like, I'm just going to talk about myself a little bit, <laughs> as I usually do, what's new. I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, some things I've learned about Interstim. Um, and sort of share that with you guys. So, um, yeah, yesterday I had like my, I don't know, like biannual uh, doctor's appointment it, with my doctor in Toronto. It was a very short appointment, like usual, um, nothing special. We talked about um, how I was doing, and so I've kind of said to him, you know, it's still been about 50% uh, symptom reduction in overactive bladder and also nighttime urination. I think that's still about accurate. I would say that it's probably maybe never gotten past like 60% better. Um, and I said that I'm not mad at it. Um, I think that's good. It's like he said it's a, it's a success for sure. When it comes to interest in 50% is actually success rate. And I told him that I missed a doctor's appointment with my Ottawa doctor and I felt really bad about it. And I called today to try and rebook and I had to leave a message. But the thing was I was supposed to go do some Botox injections as well, or that was what was on our mind. So. I didn't do that because I missed my doctor's appointment, not the Botox appointment, but I missed my doctor's appointment in order to like get that facilitated um, or organized. And so he was like, just bring him a bag of mini eggs. <laughs> and just say you're sorry that you missed the appointment. And I was like, okay. Uh, I also told him about the fact that I couldn't take the propivirine or the mictoril. Um, because it would felt like it would get stuck in my throat, which I think I told you guys about in a video, like, I don't know, a few months back. Um, and he was like, well, that's interesting. And I was like, yeah, it's weird. I, it, just, it just made me angry all the time. Um, and I was like, he even said to himself, he's like, interest him typically has about like a 50% success rate. Meanwhile, pills and medication typically have about a 30% su success rate. Um, so he's like, he, that's fine, you know, like if you were only doing one thing versus the other, then um, I'd definitely say keep just doing interest in, obviously. It's not like I could take it out anyway, it's implanted in my butt. One other thing um, I wanted to talk to you guys about before I go into the next part of my doctor's appointment is recently one of my good friends that I met through the, my channel. Um, hi, if you're watching, I don't wanna say your name out loud, but you know who you are. So she found this group called Interest in Therapy and Support on Facebook. It is a closed group, so you have to like apply to join or become a part, an active member of the club, the club, <laughs> and like read and comment and stuff. So, um, so she found it, I think about a month or two ago and sort of she shared it with me. And so I joined the club or the group and um, quietly just sort of like watched people talk amongst it. Um, but there's about 1400 people in it, which is kind of cool. And I'm sure they're, they're from all over the world. So I definitely recommend that you guys check it out if you are considering Interest Him. If you don't know what Interest Him is and you kind of want to learn more about it and maybe you aren't even considering Interest Him, but you want to learn more so you can tell your someone who might need to know. Uh, if you have interest in it and you've had some complications like, you know, I have, um, and if you've, you know, if you've had some good things going on, if you've had some bad things going on with interest in, um, literally they just want you to tell them why you want to apply or be part of this group so that they can accept you into the group. I don't think it's that hard to get into. I think you just have to sort of explain your interests or your, your ideas about interest in and why you want to be able to learn and share about it with other people because this is meant to be a group for people who want to have support. This is not meant to help people um, be a better person. <laughs> this is really just to share your, your troubles and your successes. Like, it's not 
it's, it wouldn't be a support group. Someone was actually saying this the other day. It wouldn't be a support group if uh, everything just went perfectly all the time. So there will be hard things to talk about. There will be like challenges to go through and people will be upset. And so I was reading recently that people were kind of leaving the group because they're like, there's so much negativity on here. And I did, I see it and I don't see it. Like I honestly, I'm not really into drama. <laughs> I, I kind of avoid it at all costs. But when I see something negative, I just kind of scroll past it anyway. So like I'm not very uh, observant of that kind of feedback or, or messages. So um, supposedly there's some negative feedback on and comments on here. So. Take it that with a grain of salt if you are interested in joining the group. Um, if you have already joined the group and you're kind of not liking it, that's the purpose of the group is to have that open mind and share things amongst each other so that you guys can learn and grow from things. I read in it all the time. Well, maybe not all the time. Maybe I comment on some people's things about um, where I can input my experiences. So uh, you say hi if you're there or whatever. But I do recommend it to people. I like to try and bring resources together on my channel so that you guys can like pick from what you want. I always leave a ton of resources in every description box uh, below whatever main spiel I have in that video. So I'm gonna try and start linking this into my description box as well. Um, it's not like my group or anything and I'm not making money off of saying this by any means. I just think that no matter what, if I was like browsing for information, um, if I were you guys, I would want to learn more about uh, every avenue possible. So that being said, with this group in mind, um, I told my doctor about it. So I said I joined an interest, Interstim support group on Facebook and they said that there are a couple different Interstim devices and stuff out there. And so uh, I was like, I've heard about there being a rechargeable Interstim. Um, and I've heard about there being a longer lasting Interstim or an Interstim 3. I have the Interstim 2 implant, but I guess they're coming up with an Interstim 3 through Medtronic. So when I told him that, he said, all right, so uh, I'll tell you a little bit about both and uh, I'll let you decide. But essentially we're looking at what the timeline is for how long your battery is gonna last anyway. And I was like, that's fine because I think that because I have it so high and we talk and I change it, I, I try to change it from time to time to kind of get the best of the experience with it, um, is that I think the battery is going to die faster than <laughs> it should, uh, which is totally fine. That's whatever, that's the purpose of the interest in. Um, so I think that my battery may not last more than five years, you know, uh, it may last three years, it may last six years, I don't know. Uh, they say that the maximum life is probably about 10 years, but like I said, I keep mine pretty high So that likely is not gonna happen But he did say that Medtronic in Canada doesn't have the rechargeable one um, As of yet, this is what he told me. I could be completely wrong. I actually kind of was looking this up earlier um, And I've read about there being some Medtronic stuff or a rechargeable one out there And I'll explain what that is in a second but he said that there is a rechargeable one and I think he said it was through, it looks like the rechargeable one that is out there that he said he's implanted about a dozen of them is through Axonix. And I'm gonna actually link a video to that and what their website is about as well in case you're interested in that because I found a very detailed video about it through their website. So what that does is <laughs> it recharges the battery um, like against your skin. So you have still the same sort of like implant. I think it's actually smaller. Um, that's what I've heard the Interstim 3 is gonna be smaller and have a longer lasting battery. But this Axonix one or the one that is not covered through Ontario Healthcare, which why would on earth would you wanna do that? Like why would you wanna pay up front for this? <laughs> it basically, you still have the same implant, it still has the lead, it still has everything inside your body, however, you need to charge the internal implant's battery one to every two, one, every one to two weeks. Um, and for some people that's great, they don't mind it. To me, it looks hella complicated and uh, ridiculous. Like, I kind of thought it was cool at first until I started talking to my doctor. So what he said was, imagine I handed you a cell phone and I told you that it had an everlasting battery up to a, maybe, well, you never have to charge this battery on this cell phone. You can have it for five years, 10 years, until the battery dies, this is your cell phone. Don't worry about charging it, it's good to go. Or I handed you a cell phone that probably lasted about maybe twice as long, but you gotta charge it every two weeks for up to, I don't know, three hours or, or maybe 10 hours, I don't know, something ridiculous. So he said, what would you choose? And I was like, personally, I like the kind of you're good to go option where you can just take the cell phone and go because currently that's what I have with the interest in. I know myself, I can be very lazy when it comes to even taking medication. I don't even like taking medication. So why on earth would I want to remember to lug around a bunch of stuff and look, 
there is a bunch of stuff when it comes to this, which on their website at least it looks like there's a bunch of stuff. You've got your own handheld remote to change the frequency and then you've got the pod that you have to charge and then that charge pod sits on your butt or wherever it's implanted and then you've got a strap to like hold it there. So like there's a bunch of different pieces of things that go together in order to make the rechargeable interstim work. I think there's like even like an iPad style thing like to see even more details about your interstim and I was like that's just too convoluted for me. Really really cool technology mind you. Really really cool. Probably not for me. Um, so that's what he was sort of telling me and I thought that was very good information like a very good perspective in which to put it. So anyways he said that probably won't be available in Canada or at least covered by OHIP for another 18 months or so. So by the time I'm probably ready for like my new uh, interest in battery replacement. It's been just over two years. I had my revision surgery in April 5th 2017. Um, so it's just been over two years where I've had this interest in implanted for. So uh, let's say within the next like two to three years I should probably be due for a revision surgery just to get the battery replaced, put in a new one. So by then I should be able to make up my mind or whatever but um, it was very interesting to learn about that and um, especially coming from a doctor and not just like from a website or something. Um, but anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. I just thought I'd talk about that because um, I didn't really know too much about it. I do kind of want to talk about the controversy between having an MRI done on with you having an interstim implant or not having an MRI done. In some cases I'm sure you probably can avoid MRIs. I don't know how frequently you're going in for MRIs or what the necessary reasons of that would be. However, my interstim says I am MRI or MR conditional <laughs> and so that means that whomever is performing it at the MRI, if I don't have like the verbal cons um, consent to tell them yes or no to do it, they would have to go to this website. I'll read to you what MR conditional means. MR conditional means non-clinical testing has demonstrated that the interstim therapy systems have been found to be MR conditional. MRI examinations of the head only may be safely performed under the following conditions, in which it lists the conditions. You can see that there. Scanning under different conditions may result in severe patient injury or device malfunction. MRI systems generate powerful electromagnetic fields that can produce a number of interactions with implanted components of the neurostimulation system. Some of these interactions, especially heating, are potentially hazardous and can lead to a serious permanent patient injury. Doesn't that sound a little bit scary? <laughs> I don't think I've had an MRI done, but for some reason at the back of my head, I feel like I've had an MRI done in the past two years. I don't think I have. I know I've had x-rays and x-rays you're allowed to have and so are um, ultrasounds. But you can't have a TENS, a TENS machine which is like the machine that sends like electrical sin signals to your muscles. I think you have it in physiotherapies and stuff like that because that could potentially heat up the device in your butt and then make it really uncomfortable and burn you. But you also can't have the electromagnetic fields like the MRI's done as well for the exact same reasons or it could just malfunction the device. I don't know why you'd need an MRI. I don't know whether you can avoid MRI's in certain situations, but I don't like the fact that it's MR conditional. Like I don't want to risk it. And I was talking to my friend and she was explaining this and it was making me very, very worried about people who do MRI's with interstims and she uh, was explaining how dangerous it could be. And I was like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't, I want everyone to know that that's, you shouldn't do that. Anyways, I just went on a tangent there about MRIs. I kind of think I want to get one of those like uh, patient necklaces, essentially say that it's uh, no MRI versus MRI conditional. Um, and just see wallet for more information because I have like a little card in my wallet about uh, my interest in. Uh, I don't think they'll ever be fully con operational with MRIs. I highly doubt it. I'm not really concerned about it. I just kind of wanted to go off on a tangent about it. Um, but I'll link all the stuff like I've talked about below because if you want to read more about what I've sort of mentioned or watch the video even for that other um, rechargeable device and learn if that's the right one for you, that'd be kind of cool. Um, again, if you want to check out the, the Facebook link or the Facebook group, um, you can look it up on Facebook under Interstim Therapy and Support or Interstim Therapy and Support group. You can tell them I sent you. I'm not trying to like flood the group, but like I said, there's already 1400 people there. Um, it should be a really good resource for people who may need to know more information about people with Interstim. People ask me a ton of questions and I love it. I'll answer as many questions as I can, but I only have one experience. <laughs> so I think this will be a really good resource for people who just want to learn more and talk to many more people other than this, the one person who I am. 
um, about their experiences. And uh, for those of you who have gotten your interest in done since watching my videos, uh, I'm really hoping that they've worked out well. I'm glad you guys have uh, learned lots from me and my experiences. That's the whole point of this channel. But yeah, so our, our doctor's appointment just sort of ended up saying like, um, there's a couple things you could try. Um, we won't have to talk about it for probably another little bit of t like a couple more years maybe. He asked me if I needed some reprogramming for my implant and I said no. Uh, I don't think so right now, but I'll just work on trying to get uh, <laughs> to go see my doctor in Ottawa to go get Botox done in my bladder again. Um, which I still haven't really like talked about much on my channel. I'd like to dive more into a Botox procedure. Um, but anyway, uh, I think that was all I kind of wanted to talk about. Uh, I just want to talk about my doctor's appointment, about the rechargeable uh, device, about the Interstim 3. Um, apparently, like I said, it could be smaller. Um, I didn't really do too much research on the Interest M3. Like, I already have. I'm gonna end up getting the new model anyway when I get there, I'm sure. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to mention that there are other options of Interest M out there. I'm sure this is probably more relevant in the States. Just in Canada, things are a little bit slow or things have different regulations here, so uh, we just don't get the same stuff that the states does on the same time frame like you guys always have like things or you guys people who are in the states always tend to get things like five or ten years before Canada does uh, so please share this video if you think this video is in, has some useful information to maybe someone you know or um, I don't know why else would, would you share a video <laughs> Please subscribe if you do like my content. I know it is very random and all over the place, but uh, I am I'm trying my best here. I know I don't look like I am, but I do have a full-time job in which uh, takes a lot of my energy and time and mental capacities. Like right now, I'm, I worked I worked all day and my brain is kind of like shutting down on me. Um, but that's no excuse. I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you guys for being here and for subscribing. So uh, if you like my kind of content that I'm uploading every now and then, please subscribe. It does help out. I am still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, and uh, that would be a pretty cool, pretty cool goal to reach. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I uh, hope this video helped you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!